So now, so that's all very promising. There's also some updates on cell mods. If you could, Dr. Richter, give a quick overview of what, how that functions and what the latest is. Sure. So cell mods, uh, and right now there's two in clinical trial. One is called CC220 or ibertamide. Uh, that uh, is slated to be approved probably sometime in 2022. And then there's a one after that, which goes by the name CC92480 or mesigdamide. It's a little farther down the road. But essentially cell mods are next generation imids. So we started with thalidomide, then we developed revlimid, then pomalist, and now Ibertamide and mesigdamide. So these are the next generations of Revlimid and Pomalist. They're pills just like Revlimid and Pomalist are, similar in terms of toxicity, except so far Ibertamide seems to be more active and actually have less what we call myelotoxicity, meaning it doesn't lower the blood counts as much as say Revlimid does. So again, like we talked about with the other therapies, this is aiming for a late line approval after people have had a drug from each of those other classes. But the trials are already being designed and slated to moving those drugs all the way up to front line, because if these drugs work so great towards the end, already starting to think, well, what if we substitute ibertamide for Revlimid, which many patients get as part of their induction, can they do even better and with less lowering of blood counts? So very excited about these drugs. They're very easy to combine uh, with all of the drugs. So Velcade and Ibertamide, Daratumumab and Ibertamide. And the next generation of studies is gonna be bispecifics and Ibertamide and or giving Ibertamide as a maintenance therapy either after transplant or after CAR-T. Wow, so you have a lot to keep, tra keep track of. And I think, um, that's where we end up, right? Well, so for cell mods, just to, to wrap that, it's it's the, the studies are going on now as a single agent that would come at the very end. It's not gonna replace anything yet. That's what the next studies will be is to see if you bring it farther, further up. And then not only that, but in combination, so. And the combination trials are also there. They've been underway. Uh, a lot of them done under Dr. Sagarlonial of Winship at Emory. Uh, and they have a basket trial, which is ibertamide plus Velcade, ibertamide plus Kyprolis, ibertamide plus dexamethasone, ibertamide plus Dara. So we have a lot of these basket trials to kind of take the next step. Okay, which combo is going to be optimal?